Hello, hi, and today uh, we are going to learn uh, JavaScript testing framework, JavaScript testing library available. Uh, yeah, so nowadays programming has become very easy by using jQuery, and there are so many libraries available like uh, PyPonJS, AmbulJS, AmbulJS and by using them you can write uh, uh, your application in very fast and robust manner but uh, uh, but when, when it comes to uh, testing it's very confusing to just to select a testing framework because there are so many asynchronous files available and yeah so today i'm going to cover basically uh, which framework testing framework you should use and uh, uh, which are the best one which are which are the most preferable uh, framework uh, available in the market and uh, what is the drawbacks of it and how everyone is uh, everyone has pros and cons so, oh. yeah so I, I, I'm going to start the uh, 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 learning sessions of uh, uh, about the testing frameworks and this is the first lesson and in the next chapter we are go, we are cover some practical sessions so uh, stay tuned and just be there so yeah so the uh, in the first slide uh, in the first chapter we are going to cover uh, how many testing framework available so there are basically three most popular framework available which is qunit jasmine and mocha so uh, what is jasmine jasmine is definitely the oldest and Technology oldest testing framework available, which is released in 2008, and uh, uh, so uh, so the uh, so the prompts, if I can see, is there are lots of support available across the board. You, there are so many questions and answers and sessions going on there, so you can get uh, anyway so many answers out there. And if you see the cons again, see this is the configuration is a big headache because at that time there is no not of JS available, so. And so yeah, and also we need to uh, add some third-party APIs to do the assertions, which is literally very difficult. And also the main uh, drawbacks of this technology is uh, uh, there is no asynchronous testing. I mean, there is available, but there is a big headache. So uh, yeah, so and the next is Jasmine. Jasmine is slightly newer to the. Back and having been released two years after the J in 2010, it is also. Uh, I mean, if you see, if you, if you see the prompts again, that is so. Uh, the setup is very easy it's using the node, and nice syntax for assertion built in and very pretty well behavior with assertion libraries, and support by many servers, MCT, Courtship. And that we support natively huge have plugins available, and uh, uh, yeah, and as a, I mean, the, there is only one uh, drawback available that is uh, testing can be. Uh, I mean, it's not a, it can be achievable by uh, using some headaches, but uh, as my is testing uh, is still a headache in, in Jasmine. Now the. Uh, in, in 2012, a uh, new testing framework has been launched, which is Mocha, and that's uh, it, it has solved all the problems, which is uh, 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 which is under the Q in it and Jasmine. So simple, uh, so it is simple setup, and uh, it's headache. I mean, less running out of box, and. Uh, you can use HI for your assertion as a license library. It is very supportable, and there are very CI servers plugins available. And highly extensible asynchronous testing is uh, busy in this. And as far as there is a demand drawback, I have seen that uh, there is a new to the field, so there will be supporting maybe lacking in certain areas. So, but yeah, I mean, as far as uh, testing is concerned, it, if we if we use this, I mean, it's it's good for us. So, looking at three options of above, my choice is Fear Mocha and Chai, and this is most flexible, mass usability because 
the the uh, setup is very easy and it is it, it, it is very easy to understand and you can go ahead uh, with this i mean i prefer mocha on all this three so uh, this is in the first lesson is about and in the next session we are uh, in the next lesson we are going to learn uh, how to set up mocha for your testing frameworks and uh, for now if you have any questions you can drop me email satish.tartar.gmail.com you can ask me question you can comment down below i whenever i get the chance i will surely i will answer your question